Hello and welcome back. Um, it's another video from me, Emily. Um, thanks for joining me. So this is part two of my yard cleanup. Um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. I am getting sick or have been sick. I don't know. I felt like I've been getting sick for two weeks and it's finally really kicking in. Um, anyway, so I went around my yard and picked up all the little twigs and sticks that had been knocked down. It's been pretty windy lately and just stuff keeps falling from my trees. So I had to pick that up before I could mow. So I just went around and grabbed the bigger ones that I could see so that I could throw them in my little makeshift fire pit um, and burn them later, get them out of the way of the lawnmower. Um, you'll see my cat pop up once in a while. She was out hanging out with me. She just stays in the yard, so it's nice. She likes to be out in the sunshine, um, but be around me. So it's good because she's deaf. So if she ran away, I could never find her again. <laughs> anyway, um, I know my yard is very messy. This is why I was starting to clean it up because a bunch of like... Um, you can kind of see at the back in the middle, there was a tree that I took down. That's all the various branches and pine needles from it. Um, my, on the right is like an old brick compost pile that I had made. Um, I ended up taking that apart afterward. Um, there's like a broken barrel. There's everything. Um, there was a lot of stuff in this house when I moved in. Like the backyard had like five, six different gardens in it, and fencing and bricks and the patio. And so I've been every year slowly working to take away some of the stuff. Um, so yes, I know it looks like a disaster. I've been slowly clearing it out to make more room for the dogs, um, which is also why the grass looks terrible because the dogs run around in circles and tear it up. So there's little path, kind of pathways there that they go around and um, rip up, especially in the spring. If it's a little bit muddy, then they will um, kind of wear tracks and rip up the grass worse. So I try to let the grass grow out long as possible where it's still easy to pick up after the dogs but um or it's not too hard to pick up after the dogs but I can still you know like let it grow as long as I can so I just was picking up dog messes before I could mow because I don't want that I don't want to step in that and I don't want it scattered all over the place um so I brought out the mower. This is my old gas mower. Not my favorite because the handles are obviously made for men's hands, not women's hands. It's, it's hard to reach the handles um, and to get it started. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not terrible. I was mostly, I mostly put on the bag just because I wanted to pick up a lot of the leaves um, that were starting to fall along with longer grass so normally I kind of leave it off but this time I put it on so that I could gather some good leaves and grass clippings for my compost pile. So I just quickly went through, this is only half the yard and I'm showing you, um, I didn't really feel like cleaning the whole thing, I thought it'd be way too long. So I just did this half, um, going around <laughs> all the obstacles, cutting down the little rhubarbs that were trying to grow back right there, and I just cut it all down. 
I knew there'd still be some time for it to grow a little bit before winter hits, but this was like the last hot day of the year. I'm thinking, I'm assuming. Um, so I was just trying to get it manageable so that I could clean up the rest of the yard more easily. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't done... Well, this was my first day of cleanup. Um, so that's why it still looks so terrible. But it does get better, I swear. It's already looking better just from mowing it. So all the grass and leaves that I collected, I just dumped into my compost pile. Um, kind of took that off and just throw it straight into the compost pile. And that's really it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching part two of my yard cleanup. And I'll be back next time with a new video. I also did a cleaning in the house that I need to edit, so I'm gonna do that next. Thank you so much for watching, coming by, subscribing, and all that jazz. It really means a lot to me. Thank you. Have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye.